Hello guys, back with another DIY on the 2015 Infinity Q50, uh, 3.7 liter uh, all-wheel drive. Um, so, um, give you a rundown or briefing of what happened. Um, so we've riding yet riding around yesterday, and um, my wife was like, "Baby, you know." It, this been happening for a few days it gets warmer it, it's a little warmer in here so i'm thinking okay maybe it needs a little more freon so i hit up my um my infinity guy um shout out to my infinity guy <clears throat> he was like oh um he was like this is a common problem on these cars he said the temperature actuator uh tends to go out he was like on whatever side that it is warmer on that's the side that the problem persists um so <clears throat> um we were riding and after he had texted me that um i told my wife and so she felt the these vents right here and so she put her hand up to both and both of her hands on, on one each and she was like baby you can feel the difference between the air so, you know, I did it. And I was like, yeah, you can. It's like a 10 to 15 uh, degree difference. So uh, so my guy sent me um, a picture of the actuator and the part number and all of that. Went to Infinity and picked it up. Um, so this is the part number uh, for you guys. 277-32-5. Four G, F O B, um, and this is what the actuator looks like. This is the outside, and this is the inside. Excuse the dog, Apollo. What do you want? What do you want? I'm doing something. Uh, yeah. So this is the actuator. Um, this is the mechanism that turns, you know, allows, opens up the door and all of that stuff, blah, blah, blah. So, um, <clears throat> to show you the, lo the location of the actuator, as you can see, I'm on the driver's side. Um, and you got your brake pedal and you got your gas pedal. Well, right above the gas pedal um you have this bracket see that metal bracket right there you have that bracket you just have this screw you only need to remove this screw and it comes off it's still attached uh you can see it's still attached like up there where that little clear piece is it's still attached so you can just kind of move it out move it to the side and then behind that, you can see the uh, actu actual actuator. Um, so there's only two screws that go to the actual actuator. Uh, one is right behind this uh, bracket. And then the other one is up top on the top of this um, actuator. Um, so, yeah, there's only two screws. And then there's the connector. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, can't really show you the connector, but yeah, it's it's a small connector. You just gotta turn it around to the right spot, and then you know just kind of push it down and slide out your typical connector. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me see. So this is what this is pretty much what it's gonna look like right here facing this way so it's gonna go in this is the old one it's gonna go in kind of like that and these this hole and that hole should line up don't worry about this one or this one these two should line up Put your connector in, put your two screws back in, um, 
and I would say use probably about a, this is my screwdriver, I would say it's probably about six to eight inches. If you can use a shorter one, even better, because it's a, it's a tight, cramped space up in there. So if you can use that, please do so. A drill, I wouldn't definitely wouldn't recommend a drill because, you know, like I said, it's a cramped space. Um, so once you do that and then put your bracket back around it and your bracket goes, it's like a, a thing that already sticks. You see that hole right there? That line, once you put the bracket inside that hole, it automatically lines up with that screw. Put your screw back in. Got your connector in, got your two screws on the actuator in, and you're good. So, we're gonna turn the car on. Me and Apollo, uh, he doesn't like cars, not especially when they're not on. So, um, I got my temperature gun right here and like i said before this is blowing like 60 but this is blowing like uh about 70 uh what was this it, this is blowing 60 this is blowing about 75 to 77 so we're gonna see so to see just turned the car on See, it's going down. And we're gonna check this side. Got 64. Oh, I'm gonna show you. See, it's 60, 60. So, let's see. 64, 63. Let's see. 64, 63. Working pretty good. Go back to the other side. See, you like you gotta get a little closer. 60. 57. I like that. Colder the better. Shoot, I stay in Texas, so we need all the cold hair we can get. Last week we just had about a, we had like three or four consecutive days of 100 plus degree weather. So, but uh, I said, I believe I showed you guys the uh, part number. Uh, you go to your local Infinity dealer. Um, you can try, you know, places such as AutoZone or whatever. I don't know if they would have them. I just wanted to, you know, alleviate the whole issue of trying to run around, see who has, see who didn't. I just went straight to the dealer and got it uh, for about 70, about 75 bucks. About seven, ran me about 75 bucks. Um, so if you guys have any issues, any questions, um this is that same stereo that i have in my other video that i put back together if you watch that video you know what i'm talking about um but yeah um i thought i'm gonna have to move, remove this whole panel but i didn't got up under there and did my thing hopefully it's, it's as easy for you guys as it was for me and uh i'll holler at y'all on the next diy Y'all take care.